Now we're going to discuss the pathologies of the AC joint, the acromioclavicular joint. So the first thing when assessing this is we're going to visually look at the patient and see if there's maybe a step-off deformity. We're going to palpate the joint. And actually, I'm, Ritzy, I'm going to have you kind of move your shoulder up and down like that. Perfect. Now move it a few times. So up and down. Good. And what I'm feeling for here is any crepitus or any pain. Okay, good. And then you can also do this passively a little bit. So you just got, you know, you're palpating the joint, kind of move the shoulder around. Good. No, I can feel it there. Now, the next thing we're going to do is called the scarf's test. So you're going to bring your arm into this position, okay? And while you're in this position, I'm going to force it further or push it into more of a horizontal adduction. And at the same time, I'm going to assess the joint here. So you don't have to do anything. Just hold this position. Okay. Now we're moving this across and I'm going to bring it over. And once again, I'm assessing for any crepitus, any pain or, you know, too much movement in some cases if there's significant ligament damage. Okay, good. Doing okay? Nice. Okay. And now we're going to just basically assess a range of motion. So abduction, that's where you bring your arm all the way up. And uh, what we're looking for is a painful arc. So uh, usually in an AC pathology, there should be some discomfort between about 150 to 180 degrees. So those last 30 degrees. Okay, so I want you to bring the arm up like this as far as you can. Okay, good. Now try this side. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Good. Okay, so what I would do is I would get in, palpate the joint. I come this way so I don't block it so you can see it. And I would probably passively bring this up and down through those last 30 degrees just to make sure we're assessing it properly. There we go, good. Okay, good job, Ritzy. So that's a great way to assess the AC joint.